The island of Hawaii is a dream of sun, sand, and lushness, as well as a chef's paradise for fresh, unique, exotic, and sustainable local ingredients. The spirit of aloha prevailed the second time around with the return of Celebrity Chef Tour in Hawaii. For the ninth year, this James Beard Foundation's event's mission is to celebrate and preserve America's culinary heritage and diversity. Uh, the last the last two seasons, 2011-2012, we kicked it off here in Hawaii. This will be our uh, this will be our first event for 2012, and we hope to do 20 events. This will be the ninth year that the tour has been rolling. And uh, it's just fantastic to start off the year in January in beautiful Monolani. I had the privilege to join the celebrity chefs in their quest to experience the beauty and bounty of the Big Island. Our first stop is the Malaai. It's the culinary garden of Waimea Middle School. Malaai cultivates the relationship between students and the land through growing and sharing as well as nourishing food in their outdoor living classroom. The students welcome the chefs eager to learn and connect with the celebrity chefs. All the chefs shared funny anecdotes and insightful knowledge about the food, preparation, and cooking. The finger is to get out of the way of the knife, right? So pretend you're the knife and the crab is in the right hand, right? So if you do it on a, on a if you're going to hold this and pretend that's a cutting board, okay? So if you look at this, hold it up in the air like that, thank you. So if you're doing something, you pretend that the crab has grabbed the vegetables and it's holding on tight. And crabs can hold on things very tightly, right? And as you slice, the crab moves down and back along the vegetable. The other part of it is that traditionally, we all hold our hand like this, right? But everybody wants to do this when they cut for some reason. I don't know why that is, but we all have this tendency to do that. Actually, I, I have some nice slices on my finger to prove that that's the wrong way of doing it. So you, was that when you're illuminated from Top Chef? No, that was when, <laughs> before you're born, maybe. Uh, but remember putting one hand on top of the other so you don't have another hand in the wrong area. Right? Beautiful, right? 
Now these, this one's, the smaller one's actually a little harder than the bigger one. You know how you can tell this is female? Hey. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so, which do you like better, his or mine? His. <laughs> now, mine is a lot easier to scoop out the seeds, correct? <laughs> <laughs> In China, spoons are oval shaped. <laughs> What's that? This has more, right? But is it? You see the color? The color is so different in both things, right? Why is that? They're two different kinds, right? Right. And what kinds are these? They're different, they're different seeds, I bet. Two different seeds, right? They, and they cross pollinate, right? Those, those little bees are those little bees are busy, right? Right. Bees are busy. What are they doing? Pollinization. Right? I tried Chef Tyler's kabocha squash and it's really delicious. It's something you don't get all the time. Mama's in her kitchen cooking dinner real nice Beef stew on the stone, no miss salmon with the ice We don't drink and we sing all day Got a coffee like in the on my way I almost did not have a chance to try managed drink But when I did, I bit on the Hawaiian chili pepper he put on the drink From the mountains to the ocean, from the wind to the you guys want to keep doing the garden really try. Really try. Yeah. 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 On the island, we do it on the The students were not the only ones who enjoyed the event. The chefs obviously appreciated the warmth of the reception and scrumptious ingredients. They were so captivated by everything that the 45 minute visit turned into a three hour festival. You know my grandma, she likes your boy, really Next up was the Hirabara Farms. Love my grandma every minute, Set every on the slopes toward Mauna Kea, just outside the big island town of Waimea, with its striped inside. rows of colorful bed of lettuce, Hirabara Farms is undeniably one of the most beautiful the farms in the U.S. So when we bought our parcel here, it's three acres, we knew that we had to make every square inch of it perform. <laughs> every square inch. So we do a different kind of farming here. Small space farming, high yield. Farming. This fennel is one of the most admired ingredients by the celebrity chefs. We also had a chance to sample some of the luscious baby greens and some colorful lettuce from your bar farm. Chef Ogawa's Hawaiian Caesar salad was a big hit. The celebrity chefs made sure that they signed their autographs in the Wall of Fame, where many of the famous chefs have left tributes to Kurt and Palm Hirabara as one of the most hospitable farmers in Hawaii. We then headed to Lloyd's Case's Hog Farm. Many local chefs go to Lloyd for pigs and wild boar. The wild boar were trapped, crossbreed, and turned back loose in the macadamia nut orchards to fatten themselves. Four months it gains 250 pounds. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes more though. All depends, yeah. Because they're eating straight fat basically. Yeah. Fat nuts. Meeting and mingling 
with the celebrity chefs while enjoying local famous chefs' boo-boos and some unique cocktails made by an award-winning mixologist were the highlights of the party. I was sitting at a table at an open cafe. Master mixologist Manny Hanahosa concocted an island-inspired cocktail with all fresh ingredients. Well, we're happy to be back again to Tuscona and the Madalani Bay, uh, where it's the second annual uh, Celebrity Chef Tour. Chef Sam Choi prepared some of his signature poo-poo's, like the Bloody Mary Poke Shooters. It's so ono. Well, one thing I can guarantee you, 100% of what we're serving is from the beginning. Yeah, yeah right? very nice. The evening also featured some of the Hawaii's best bartenders creating specialty cocktails with local spirits and favorite ingredients. The decadence continued as the celebrity chefs prepared the much-awaited first-class six-course meal made with passion and masterful craftsmanship and use of the island's freshest ingredients. Each course highlighted the talent of each chef and served with a wine pairing. Uh, the lineup is, uh, we have a uh, fresh local salad, we've got local fish, we've got um, local uh, pigs, and then we've got, uh, we've got beef. And so, with local vegetables, and Manny's doing his ingredients again, and in in some cocktails, and so we've got Ming Tsai up first, uh, well, Jonathan and Tyler up first, and then Ming Tsai, and then uh, Jonathan, Sandy, Ming, and, uh, and Tyler all on both, both courses of the year. The show is beginning. This is the fun part, yes? The party started with celebrity chefs' hors d'oeuvres and master mixologist cocktails by the ocean. Waxman prepared truffled hamakua mushroom bruschetta, and Chef Florence made kawaii shrimp tartare. As for Chef Ming Tsai, he made ahi tuna poke with passion fruit vinaigrette. So I'll make a little bit of taiku passion fruit salayon, zaglioni, we're cooking egg yolks on top of a water bath, indirect heat. Delicious, of course, Taiku sake. A little bit for that. A little bit for me. I get colder. It's going to be put on top of a little bit of tuna tartare with some crispy rice. Just a little demi tasse spin. Just a little bit of extra love. Chef Twasen's special poo poos is shoyu and sake braised local lamb neck, pickled cucumber, and mentaiko. The highlight of the night, which is a six-course meal, served family style, started with amuse boos, poisson cru mala'ai garden Yukon island chips, and Hawaiian chili water. The first course is local garden splendor, served two ways, presented by Chefs Florence and the waxman. We got everything out on the table today and looked at everything and then we started making things up. Awesome. The best thing though is the, is the pigs because these are not wild pigs and they're not domesticated pigs. They're half and half. So these are wild pigs that were mated to a Yorkshire blend of pig. So they have long snouts. You'll see one when it comes out. And it has much more depth of flavor than a normal pig. And we're doing pig two ways. I'm doing it one way and Todd is doing it. I'm not giving away the surprise. It is followed with the second course, crispy campachi with black garlic, black pepper sauce, tea smoked shrimp rice packets, and wok steered kabocha squash and shard. 
presented by Chef Ming Tsai. Another star dish made its way as a third course, local suckling pig with local veggies presented by Chef Florence and Chef Waxman. Yeah, so it's uh, our porchetta. It's uh, stuffed with uh, macadamia nuts and uh, braised mustard greens. Really delicious. Uh, and, uh, the, the pork itself is organic pork. It's a crossbreed uh, between a Berkshire pork and a domestic Hawaiian wild pork. It's really interesting. And it's fed on macadamia nuts, so the pork itself is really delicious. Uh, so we stuffed it with uh, macadamia nuts, and uh, which is what it eats, which is kind of cool. And then uh, mustard greens going to give it sort of a sort of a vinegary bite. It's pork loves this kind of thing. It's also really sweet at the same time. So uh, we got a couple of nice um, kind of garnishes go over the top of the whole thing. We got these very interesting cherries, uh, which is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Take a look at these. No wow. They're really sweet, also sort of tart at the same time, and also some mustard greens. And uh, we're going to use the uh, the pork drippings. We're going to use the pork drippings, uh, blend a little bit of honey, and uh, a little bit of uh, wine sea salt. They're really fresh. Simple and fresh. It's nice. Great California. Last but not the least for the main entree, and as the fourth course is the Big Island pasture-raised beef cheeks, Hawaiian grass-fed pickled veal tongue gremolata, white bean organic kale ragu, which is presented by Chef Sandy Twazen. Chef Toisin also presented the dessert, which is a tropical fruit compote, coconut sorbet, and pineapple crisp. Manny Hinojosa presented an array of specialty dessert cocktails like Corso Reposado Hot Chocolate with tequila coconut, roasted macadamia nuts, Mexican chocolate, coffee liqueur, roasted basilic chilies, and cinnamon. Thanks to the chefs, all their hard work, Danny, Ruby, everybody, one line, we'll be back. Thank you. And we you please give a warm round of applause for Jonathan Waxman, one of my, my, my dearest friends, and an amazing cook for hosting the Bibble of Slice. Please give a warm round of applause. Yeah. Nice to be here. Anyway, hats off to Sam Choi. Sam Choi, we yeah, last Sam. night. Thank you, Sam, for last night. And we will be back next year. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you everybody. So, so my heart, my wife and I have a ball here, right? Thank you so much. Um, I love the, the bright eyes, uh, the big 